Um, it's just your second year, to be honest. I think it's just like uh, for me, I'm still so excited to be here, and it feels like it's uh, a first time. Like you're just look around at some of the guys that are here, and um, I'm just really humbled. And um, you know, it's an awesome experience. Really good weekend, and it's uh, it's it's really nice this time going through it because I get to go with through with a teammate and uh, enjoy the whole experience with somebody that uh, is in the same room as you during the season. Yeah, yeah, your line mate and somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, and our and our two equipment managers are here, so it's nice to have them have some more, you know, familiar, friendly faces around. Do you uh, do you ask them to do a little bit more for you, given uh, uh, that you're with them all the time? I mean, I hope they gave me a good spot in the locker room when they unpack the bags. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I don't know. I, I I ask them for enough already, so uh, <laughs> any more, their heads would probably explode. Is there anything that you actually look forward to more than anything else in this entire weekend? Um, I just think it's a great uh, a great opportunity to get to know some of the guys around the league. And uh, some of these guys I do know pretty well and I have relationships with, so it's, it's nice to see them and catch up with them. I mean, it's really cool to just enjoy this experience with your family and, and your friends, people that are here. So uh, for me, that's what it's all about. It's a... A really cool weekend, and it's something that you grew up uh, watching and, and seeing the NHL All-Star Weekend. And, and to be here, you just try and soak it all in and enjoy it as much as you can. Do you collect stuff? Like, do you try to get sticks from guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, uh, yeah, I have a few things from last year's game. Um, I kind of grew up in the era of Crosby and Ovechkin kind of starting their careers, so. I thought that was really cool to be able to be in the same locker room as them last year at the All-Star Game, and I got uh, each of them to sign one of their All-Star Game jerseys to me. So uh, I have those on my house, and um, I have my All-Star Game jersey with uh, the Atlantic team signed it. Um, then I have a stick of mine that I used at the All-Star Game with uh, everybody uh, that played at the entire All-Star Game last year on both conferences, and uh, so everyone signed that for me. So I have one of those at my house. That's really cool. Um, you just try and collect these things because you never know if you're ever going to be back. And um, I just, you know, it's uh, it's such a cool experience. You want to just try and make the most of it. What do you remember about Sid Novi that you didn't didn't know until you shared? Um, him? I, not, I mean, they're they're just they're normal guys. Obviously, I look up to them because of when they broke in the league and and the players they are. But um, it's just really cool to be around them. To be honest with you, just have normal conversations with them and. Um, it's it's cool for I mean you're a young guy and you get to come in you know these rooms at these All Star games and go through these experiences. It's uh, I think it helps you grow and and uh, mature a little bit and and you know as much as everyone's here just enjoying it, it's uh, it's a really good experience and something that uh, you can you know take in. And there's Sorry. Uh, well too you know. <laughs> how, how comfortable have you become being the captain and how much maybe easier or comfortable is it in January than it was in October? Um, yeah, I mean, I think when I, you know, when I got named captain, it wasn't, I didn't really ever think I wanted to, like, do anything differently. For me, it was just try and do a lot of the same and, and be myself. I, there's not a specific leader that I'm like, oh, I'm going to become him. Or I, I think at the end of the day, I, I got to become my own leader and, and I got to become Jack Eichel. And, of course, in January, after doing it for a few months, I mean, you're a little more comfortable with it, but... There's been so many leaders in the room this year and guys that have stepped up in different situations at different times. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's been a year of, of ups and downs for us for sure. And obviously we've had a, a stretch of really good times and, and, you know, right now we're going through a little bit of a rough patch. But I think that, uh, you know, guys that you probably wouldn't expect have stepped up and, and, and done some things that, uh, you know, I think have gone a lot way in our room and, and some things that you probably wouldn't recognize the last few years. So it's been, uh, it's been really good that uh, you've gotten contributions from so many different people. What's it been like in Buffalo this year? Do you feel like there's a little more of a tangible excitement of people in the city? Of course, I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the fans themselves have, have really rallied around the team again just, just because of the fact that we've become competitive again and, and we're a team that expects to win every night. And uh, I think the fans really appreciate it. I think they appreciate you know, the hard work that we're doing and, and uh, you know, they can see it. It's obviously changed a lot and, and, and we have a long way to go, but... Uh, with with where we are now, we're definitely uh, happy. We want to just keep doing uh, you know a lot of things that made us successful in the beginning of the year, and, and we want to just get back to that. You feel like Buffalo is a sleeping giant. Like when you look at NHL ratings for any league event, like Buffalo is always top three. Yeah, I mean, I mean for a hockey town, of course. I mean the people there treat you so well, and they just 
they love the Sabres, they love the Bills, they're so passionate about their sports teams and uh, it's something that, you know, as a professional athlete, you, you know, you, you come to maybe take for granted sometimes how well people treat you around the city and, you know, I always think like, you know, when it's over, you know, how many people are going to care about you, but I think in a city like Buffalo, I mean, they'll forever love you for, uh, you know, for being a part of their sports team and I think that goes a long way. You suggested that you maybe haven't changed that much, but having been around these guys at the All-Star Game last year and then getting the letter, is there anything that you feel like you are doing a little bit differently as part of your routine, as part of... I mean, I think it's just that, that, that bit of consistency of bringing it every day to the rink, every practice, every game. There's You really can't have any bad days, and that's kind of been my motto. It's, you know, whether you feel good or not, I mean, just, just, just bring a good attitude and... Um, you know, just try and just try and lead, try and lead by example every day, and that's what I've tried to do. And uh, but, you know, like I said, there's a lot of really good leaders in that that room, and there's some guys that I've learned from in that room and outside that room, and uh, I just want to continue to develop.